Robert was a very well-rounded guitar player. He he knew he knew, knows all the jazz chords and everything else. And, and Mike was a very accomplished drummer. I probably brought in most of the classical leanings or you know elements. We're all slightly mad. Slightly, not completely, but certainly eccentric. Everybody, all. It's a thing of all King Crimson's, the slightly mad people, and whatever. But that's what made the music, was the frustrations and the slight eccentricity and the desire to do something that was as good as the Beatles, that was interesting, that was unusual, that had the harmonic interest of jazz, but with rock underlying feelings, you know, with strength to it. So it wasn't going to be da 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 it was going to be da 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 if that makes sense. Well, we couldn't get away from each other. That's for sure. We were it was very, very uh, close. You know, we were we were right there on top of each other, and uh, uh, so um, it, you know, we it was very, very purposeful. You know, the we the rehearsals, and um, I'm over. I'm very um, fond of saying that uh, we there was no bickering or arguing. Uh, as far as I remember at all, we we all knew what worked and what didn't work, and if someone had an idea, it was just it was in, or we just you know we didn't use it. But there was never any competition about I've got to get my little piece of music into this song, you know, and um, there was no, there was no no bickering in that in that sense. We. Uh, just contributed ideas and we just moved, moved on and... We needed a name and no one was really coming up with a name, we needed a name very quickly. Because we had a gig, our very first gig to do and we wanted to be called whatever we were going to be called. And I, had been since I was supposed to be good at this, thinking of names and, and ideas with words. And I was looking at things like Led Zeppelin, The Who, I could see it had to be something powerful. And I thought, actually, if we take that from the song and just call it King Crimson, that's pretty powerful. And it isn't the devil, it isn't Beelzebub, but it's, it's arrogant and it's got a feeling of um, darkness about it and gothic. Um, that applies to the harpsichord sound on Court of the Crimson King as well, um, which is very distinctive makes it, uh, in my opinion, makes it a very distinctive sound. And that was, um, that was, uh, um, that was purely by chance that there was a, this electric harpsichord in the studio. It was completely out of tune, so I had to tune it up myself. And um, we put that on the chord, and so the, the, the four to the bar that you can hear is, um, you know, me that's part that just create uh, this, I don't know, what's the word it's an essential part of, of the sound of that that track we did the whole album in 11 days and that's including you know, mixing and, and every, everything else. Um, uh, I th I, at one point I thought it was eight days, but then I checked my diary and it's actually, there were a, couple, a few more days, but... Um, uh, at, which is no time at all, really, these days. It's been my whole career, I've been trying to get better than that, uh, which occasions I like to think I have. It was uh, a wonderful experience. A good fairy is looking, you know, so that's what we used to call it. Um, I definitely think there was something, you know, something, some energy, some chemistry there of some sort that, that, that uh, enabled us to, 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 get it, to get it done, finished, and the sounding is the way it does.